Hey everybody, it's Rick O'Shea playing Marvel Puzzle Quest. Thanks for jumping on again. This should be a great one. We've got 150 total tokens to draw from different stores throughout the MPQ game. And the feature of that is going to be the 74 mighty tokens that you see here for our, our follower and viewer play along, our subscriber play along, where we went ahead and picked characters that we're going to be drawing for four stars along that way. We'll see who gets the characters predicted correctly and give you a shout out in the video as we go. So we do have a whole lot of other tokens to draw, like I said, and the bonus in the end of this video is going to be our boss fight in Strange Sights against Kaecilius. That will be toward the end of the video, so make sure and hang on for that after we uh, basically upgrade all of our characters that we get covers for from these tokens. Now, um, so I wanna start with a couple of standards here because I wanna say 150 tokens, and if I counted right, I only had 148 others. So let's get a couple of one stars in, and that way I'll be held to my word. All right, nothing big there, but we'll uh, continue our guessing game with standard tokens probably in the future not now i've got a, a, about 1200 plus of those built up so we'll we'll announce when we're going to do that let's move to the end here and start in a couple of stores that i've let expire once again and uh got a bunch of tokens here for that negasonic and friends don't know how i did it but didn't get those tokens draw drawn while the uh, store was open and that's actually great because that's a mighty token and now we'll have 75 of those to draw from the specific mighty store going for as many four stars as we can get and we'll see uh if we have any correct guesses we had about 40 plus of uh of play along guesses from you guys and that's a lot of fun nice hit on dr strange there but if you saw the contest video nice hit on gambit we got so many four stars that were in the small percentage that were not chosen by our our, uh, our fan base, and I thought that was really pretty fun. Hey, we hit a support token as well, so we'll draw that today. Let's go back to the end here. It uh, starts you out at the beginning again when you have post-event tokens. Webbed Wonder just wrapped up here recently. Maybe we can get a good run on three stars as well in this store. Ran way too good, way too well on three stars last time, so maybe we'll get all two stars here today well there's vision i'll take that this will get you guys warmed up to see if your guesses were correct your predictions hopefully we get a bunch of four star characters once again uh, with 75 mighty tokens and roughly one in seven odds we should get a bunch of four stars along the way there all right so let's move back to the Wand of Watum, this is just the Strange Sights, one of the daily sub-chapters. Not too big of a deal, but once in a while you can hit some tokens or command points or three stars. Book of the Vashanti, got a blade, nice hit there. And we'll go to the Orb of Agamotto, and just ISO, Strange Sights tokens though. For the main store, our, our main vault here are usually really pretty good. You get a lot of tokens along the way. And another day's worth of tokens coming in. We have a shot at a Misty Knight, Black Panther, and a Sabretooth, among some other good items. Can we beat two stars here? Maybe we're going to get... Oh, there it is. Colossus. Good hit there. And a Hulk. So it looks like our threes are going to stay hot and another hit on a support token. Would really like to unlock a new perk with one of those. Scarlet Witch, one of the other featured items there. We'll do a daily draw and it's worth it. Got a Gamora. All right. We're doing quite well on the threes once again. Let's go to the seventh anniversary vault. We uh, not only have a couple of tokens, but we have a 10-pack. I think we'll wait on the 10-pack since we're doing so many other tokens today. Let's, uh, but I will do a, uh, what? Oh my gosh, I was going to say I will do maybe a 10-pack before we're done, uh, purchased from Hero Points, but we hit a Howard the 
stuck. The Bill of Rights ability, I think that actually is a really pretty good ability, guys. And look at that. Hit the highlight item. Also going for Taskmaster. And, of course, there's a bunch of Devil Dino in here among some fan favorites legendary tokens that we could land on. Wow, what a hit. Let's see if we can keep the luck going. Got a two-star, and we'll do a daily draw. And it's just another two-star. So we, we'll come back to this with four days remaining and probably uh, take a bunch more shots at that one. Did you see the news? The new five-star is going to be a version of Deadpool. And what I think is really cool, this is a unique uh, creation by MPQ, like what they did with uh, Peggy Carter and a couple other characters that are unique to the game. And uh, kind of a, a mashup with uh, Ghost Rider and there's a really cool storyline. Let's take a single shot here, just in case the odds are 1 in 250 at getting that brand new Deadpool. Hit another vision. And uh, just so you see there, 1 in 250 odds at the new Deadpool is kind of crazy. And the 10-pack and the 40-pack have a little better odds at 1 in 166. I don't think we'll do any big packs. Let me know if you guys are going to. And then here's the fan favorites. We are going to do draws from this store, but not today. We're going to spend a whole bunch of command points some point in the next three days. And uh, if you've been doing draws, let me know how it's going. Here's the supports. We have a shot at some good supports here. I've mentioned it before, what we're uh, kind of aiming at. And we just get a duplicate one star. That's going to be the most common, but there's a chance to get a two star or a three and we just get another duplicate. So, not bad. Love getting those support tokens. Wish we had more ways in the game to earn them. If you agree, put a comment down below. Maybe at some point MPQ will stumble past the videos and see all of your requests in that, in that regard. All right, elite tokens, 21 of them. Let's hit the quick claim. Can we get any three stars along the way? There's a nice hit on patch. Wolverine, Panther, Ragnarok, just killing it. Mystique, and a Storm, and another Black Panther in there, ending with Squirrel Girl. That was a really good run of three stars, and we're already back up to 23 Heroics. We're going to run those out as well. Chance at a four-star here. I didn't say before, but if we get a four star and if you guys, uh, one of you guys picked them, I'll go ahead and give you a shout out from this store also. Maybe that'll increase our odds at getting a four star. There's a three star Gamora. And a Captain America. I'm trying to speed things along since we have so many tokens to draw. And then we also have our character levels to input. And then, don't forget, we're going to take on the boss in Strange Sights. Might be a longer video, but you can split it up and watch it when it works out. There's another Squirrel Girl. And we hit a four-star. Nice job. It is Talos. I don't know if anybody picked him. I don't remember his name this time. He was a choice during our contest and giveaway for the gift cards last time and would you look at that you guys with the viewer luck got two four stars in a row we better count this one down three two one and it's bishop nice hit on bishop i haven't played him much since his uh nerf or um since his uh updated abilities maybe i'll try to do that soon there's Gamora. I know a lot of people relied on him, but as a five-star player myself, I think he was a little kind of uh, slanted in his abilities. There's another four-star. You guys are way too good to me. I hope this luck works for you. And we hit a Nebula. Wow, awesome. Running hot. Let's get the rest of these heroics done so we can get to our mighty tokens and see if we have any... Prediction winners, play along winners. Do the daily token, and it's just a two star. And here we go. So 75 mighty tokens to draw. That's over 150 total tokens today. Unbelievable. 
So, as you know, the odds are 1 in 7 of getting a 4 star, and um, a pretty good bonus hero rate on the uh, 3 and 4 stars that you choose, and of course the 3 stars are much more likely at, um, you know, 6 out of 7 odds. Let's see what we can get. And I don't think we're going to do the quick claim. That would burn them up a little too fast. If we get a four star, we want to build up the anticipation a little bit. So lots of great three stars along the way here. How long is it going to take to get a four star for the first time from this store? In our first potential shout out. And don't forget, you know what, we're going to be due for some bonus shards. Seems like last time when I mentioned it, that was about the time that they actually hit. That was pretty funny. We haven't hit a four star yet in 10 tries. And there it is. We got a four star character. Who do you think this is going to be? Will it be you? Three, two, one. And it is Anti-Venom did anybody choose anti-venom i will take a look at all of your uh guesstimates all of your predictions in um in the uh, next segment I'll, I'll pause it and do my own look through there and uh, definitely give you guys a shout out if you hit the correct answer i don't really recall i breezed through the list and don't recall that name so let's go for the next four star Need to pick up the pace in our four stars. We ran a little too good earlier. And there's another one. Hit it. It is Nova working on my duplicate. I uh, That's great. That's going to be another big level on him and closer to being championed for a second time. Lots of three-star Gamora today. Maybe that will mean we get a four-star Gamora at some point. Gray suit, Black Widow, another patch, Wolverine, and another four. All right, go. It is Carolina Dean. I don't think I've gotten her for quite a while. I definitely would remember if someone picked her, and we're doing it again. We're getting lots of characters that uh, just were not predicted. That's just too funny. Long way to go, though. Felt like forever saving up these mighty tokens. They're such good tokens, I uh, really don't think I want to save them up like that again. <laughs> want to have something to draw on a daily basis. Alright, I'll bet our next four is right here. Shouldn't we have had bonus shards pop up by now? I think there's a limiter on that. and Oh, we must be really close to the limiter. I think it's around 34, 35 or something like that. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, there it is. Oh, Rick. The bonus shards came up, which I think it might have been Polaris bonus shards. Did anybody catch that? Please let me know in the comments. Oh, I did it again. I knew it was coming up, and I still skipped it off. It had to have been Polaris. I don't think that the uh, icon looked like She-Hulk at all. Got another four. And look at that, it's Legion. I love getting hits on new characters, and uh, I don't believe he was predicted in our new set of play-along guesses, but I will really like adding that level in. Cannot wait to get started on the introducing Deadpool event, the five-star character. You only get to play one a day or so, so I usually just wait and play them all at the end so that I can record them all in one shot. If you guys have played those new introducing Deadpool nodes, let me know what you think about his abilities. They look really cool. Got the next four, and it's X-23. Wow, all right. How are we doing on our odds? I think we're all right uh, on the total draw rate on four stars, but I think our draw rate on getting the predicted Four stars is uh, not very good. That's, man, a lot of gray suit Black Widow. Miss Marvel. A 
I imagine we'll get bonus shards somewhere again before we're done, I hope, anyway. No guarantee, though, because I think if it triggers at... <laughs> at least I kept it on the screen, and that is an amazing hit of bonus shards, guys. That's, I believe, my very first time ever, unless I hit it earlier and missed it, 400 bonus shards on Polaris. What a hit. That is a full cover level on her as a bonus. And I was just halfway, you know, not really complaining, but just saying I uh, hope to hit it soon. And there it was. Man, try that effort yourself, guys, and see if it works. You have to just sit and wonder, does MPQ listen to us as we play a little bit of course they don't but you never know it feels like it can we get a couple more four stars before we are out of tokens we're down to the last 14 where you'd expect to get a couple of four stars from that number by the odds of one and seven maybe we used up our luck already we'll run out with threes here yeah, there it is. Got another four. Let's count this one. Three, two, one. And it's Human Torch. Jim Hammond once again. Got a bunch of him on our contest and giveaway. Let's get another four before we're out. And let's try to get a prediction winner. Fun to do this play along, guys. We'll do something like this again. Maybe in the basic tokens. Got bonus shards once again i don't think it was a big number but it went through the screen too quickly i blew it big surprise <laughs> i'm glad i got that 400 on the screen though that was amazing and another four star and it's another talos wow what in the world another hundred bonus i don't understand that our uh, number of total Polaris shards is through the roof, ending with a Magneto there, and that is it for Mighty Tokens, and that's it for our play along. I'll go ahead and put our guesses on the screen, and maybe I'll read through them really quickly, and we're going to have to head to our character leveling quickly as possible so I can get into our battle against Kaecilius before we're done. Should be a fun team to do that with. Let's check out our character levels and get going i usually sell out all the one stars i'll do the two stars myself to save a little bit of time okay i'm done with the two stars but i wanted to take a quick look at wolverine it's pretty funny he's at 505 i just cannot get any red covers for adamantium slash and i do have four saved covers as well we'll see how long it goes before i get uh, those three reds i need to champ him again for a second time sometimes they come in very lopsided let's go to the three stars we have a ton here 101 three stars guys i'm going to make this go pretty quickly but uh, when you see 200 shards for red hulk come through that's great a four star cover for professor x man awesome shards for four star carol half a level on Jean Grey really good rewards at the higher levels for ba Black Panther that was really great hot guy with Kate Bishop shards next level from Daredevil is good for Electra let's see where we're at with okay Captain America duplicates coming along got loki maximum champed again for the shards on four star eddie brock venom and then the legendary token four star cover from star lord these champ levels are really looking good that's what i tell everybody do as much as you can for earning tokens so you can run through those champion level rewards just helps your progress out completely Sorry, I'm going through these really pretty quickly. Maybe some of you are like, finally, he's actually moving, moving things along. <laughs> you don't have to comment about every little thing, Rick. 
And there is a max champ level on gray suit Black Widow. That big rush of covers we got on her worked out perfectly to get that Nick Fury cover. And then also the LT at 266. Fantastic, perfect timing. Hundred and one total levels on three stars. That's crazy. Got the four star Cyclops cover as well. Very nice. Luke Cage looking very close to being champed a second time with one more cover in red or yellow, I think. And how are we doing on She Hulk? She's been my bonus hero for a while. I think I need to change it now that she's into the 250s. That's pretty. Decent level, and I need to concentrate on someone else. Look at Gamora, just like we've said. Very great. Half a level on the four-star character, and then the LT for a maximum champion once again. There's the other cover I was looking for. Okay. Another LT from Colossus. We'll look back and see where... My totals are tons of Scarlet Witch levels there. Totally awesome Hulk shards from Three Star Hulk. Lots of Doctor Strange, X-23 shards, and that's finally it for the three stars. I'll have to reboot Squirrel Girl and Bullseye pretty soon. Let's get to the fours. What do we have for four stars? 21 total four stars. I know I can train Cyclops Red cover on my duplicate rebuild. That is a nice hit on him. Let's look at Star-Lord. He is coming along. Need more purple and yellow, but lots of shards to get that later if I need to. Let's keep Professor X up there. Go down to Talos. Nice couple of levels. 307. Hammond and X-23 moving up nicely. Let's see what we get from Legion here. 292. Four command points. Heading nicely toward 300. Carolina Dean. 313 already. Guess I'll save that cover on Nova. I need more red or yellow. That's right. Anti Venom 282. Nebula. Bishop. And let's go down to Misty Knight. These are covers I got from Event Rewards. LT at 280, all the way up to 283. And we have Howard the Duck covers to add in. He hits over 300 now to 303. Awesome. And I've been waiting to level up Taskmaster for so long. Command points and did get a couple of shard levels. Check it out. The guy hits level 290 as a champion and gets the legendary token for that spot just about perfectly with shards. Glad that worked out. He was a lot of fun, and I do have, um, well, it, I don't know if you'll see it before this or after this, but Taskmaster's PvP, I did get that recording made. Let's see where, I think I'm going to wait on that Professor X and double check the five stars. Okay, nothing there. Finally, all right, let's go into our shard levels and get this over with so we can get to the Kaecilius match and check out what our predictions were to see if anybody got our, predict our predictions correctly for those characters. I don't know if we got a single one. We'll have to do that again really soon. Let's see. A level on Nick Fury. That's good. Red Hulk with a bunch of hero points. And it looks like we hit another shield rank. I'll have to collect that here pretty soon. Level on Venom to 355. And check this out. Finally, we can upgrade 
Dr. Doom because I got enough shards on 5 star Daredevil as well. They've been waiting a really long time. Level up, it's 5,000 ISO, but that's fine. He's stronger, and the next level is 25 command points. Been waiting to do that for a long time on God Emperor Doom. And here we go on Daredevil. The reason I wanted him to wait is because their match damage on yellow is very close, nearly tied, and so we got a 250 point hero point level on Daredevil with an LT coming up next. And his match damage is now at 704 on yellow, keeping him ahead of Doom. And once in a while, I do play those two guys together. All right, so my, let's see, Professor X that I wanted to level up is here. Use my duplicate to add in that blue cover for Master Plan level. Instead of adding to my nearly max champ character and use all the natural covers I can on the duplicate before that okay everybody's done except for devil dino hits the level 320 his event uh, was a lot of fun let's go into and see if we got any of our predictions correct hang on a second i'll jump over to that screen okay guys here's our comments for the previous video and i'll just run through all the guesses to see who we got or didn't get and you'll catch me if i missed one so we had a guess from for uh, emma frost and pick for next time of sandman we'll see if we get there rogue hulk uh okay and let's move on to uh let's see luke cage gene gray black cat captain marvel falcon Karnak, Peggy, I think there's another guess for Peggy, there's a Yondu, and uh, Chavez was a good guess, Ghost of course, Carnage didn't hit, another guess for, for uh, Chavez, we didn't get it, Mysterio, hey, I would have taken that, but didn't get him either, another guess for Peggy, you guys were trying so hard, but we couldn't get Peggy reeled in, and um, Let's see, who else do we have guesses for here on the screen? Just running by, you guys can see your name flash by in the video. Hopefully that's fun. Another guess for Black Cat. Hey, wait a second. Did we draw Professor X or was that from an event reward? If we did, then that means Zern Gaming would have gotten it correctly. I'll go ahead and give you a shout out. Uh, Jubilee, Moon Knight, War Machine, Spider Gwen, and iron spider were the guesses thanks a lot for playing along guys let's jump over and take on kaecilius in the strange sites boss event okay here we go so that was still a lot of fun we'll do more play alongs as we go into other um segments of the game this is the rift we have to take on the boss of kaecilius have to do it quick because PvE is about to start really soon, and this is a fun team to take him on with. Now, the Juggernaut deals passive AoE damage in all normal senses, but in this case, this boss does not take any damage. So I switched Juggernaut to 355. I brought him in because he has match damage reduction incoming to himself, and I think we might use his blue. Now, I absolutely love Karnak's blue, but it's not going to help us a whole lot in this match. It, it could do some board shake, but it, there's no control to the ability um, for setting up matches of strike tiles, but his red ability will give us that, uh, that chance to line up strike tiles. And then Medusa is just great. When we match a strike tile, we'll earn some AP in blue and also green. It will help us here. And purple. And or purple can swap tiles around the board in case there are strike tiles that we can't get to. Let's see if we can win. Here we go. So defeat Kaecilius. He can only take damage from matching strike tiles. We know that and it's not always easy. Extra move. The um, unfortunate part is you don't get any damage from the extra moves. Hey, and you know what another great thing about Karnak in this setup is he always starts the match with a protectile and for the first four turns he would replace that protectile if it gets matched away until he converts over to basically a five star of match damage and so that protectile is going to help us as uh, as long as we can keep that al alive and safe on the board 
Should definitely go for red here. I think that's going to be our most tactical color. And we're really not getting any... Oh, there's a good match. Oh, man, he ruined it. There was a really good match layout on the board where we could have matched team up and dropped blue right on top of the strike tile that's down there. So now Karnak has converted over to very high match damage and that is uh, helpful a whole lot in most normal matches. Again, in here, in this match, it won't matter. We only got one strike tile matched so far. Check this out. Extra move in red. Could we be luckier? I don't think so. Picking up that red AP is so great. Now, as you see, we have our red ready to play from, from Karnak, and it's called Shatter. That will allow us to set up some really cool matches. Let's just um, work on the board here a little bit before we get to a point where we need that. Funny when he matches a strike tile on his own. He still takes damage for that. And at 7458 health, we're going to need about three more strike tile matches, I believe. And so let's check out this board. What we can do is set up, I think we can set up a pretty cool spot where, let's see, I was trying to think how we could get a double match. Yeah, let's try this. We're going to drop this and maybe this tile so that we get a lineup of yellow and let's see what else do we want to do here maybe that's not the time let's wait one more turn before we do this i think that might be better because i do want to get that matched away for some attack tiles they won't hurt him but they do create spots on the board where we can get health back if uh, either team matches those attack tiles Okay, so is this the moment? I think this is going to work pretty well. We can set up a couple of matches. I want to drop the yellow tile above two spots. We'll do that. And when we do that, I want to break this tile out so that we get a blue match that drops down another one after that. And just for fun, let's uh, destroy this tile and go. So we'll see if you can tell what, what uh, our plan did there. Can you see how we now have a yellow match that has a strike tile in it and also drops a blue match with one? Awesome. So we have everything done except for the last strike tile match that we need to win this thing. And what I wanted to do was get a bunch of blue for Juggernaut. Normally, of course, I'd play Probing Strike. It's one of the best abilities in the four star realm completely but in this case with juggernaut uh, breaker of stone you can destroy any specific column that you want and uh, when you have it set at level five at level three it's a random column column so let's play breaker of stone on this column hoping that we get a blue tile lined up down by that strike tile there and also we're going to destroy medusa's countdown we did destroy that strike tile, unfortunately. I didn't even really want it to get destroyed. But uh, you can see how that Breaker of Stone could really shake the board up quite a, quite a bit and hopefully uh, get things lined up the way you want. But even though my plan of that ability didn't work out, check out the board. We have an extra move in yellow. We get the critical match for in blue. And beyond that, we get... Oh, we almost get uh, the... This will work. Let's see. What do we want to do? I want to line up that strike tile somehow over there. Yeah, this will work. We got enough red. Let's just go ahead and drop those two down. And for fun, random other tiles. My PvE alarm warning came up right at the end of the match. And we get the win, defeat the boss, Kaecilius, and that is it for the video. So thanks again for playing along, guys. I really appreciate it. There will be a video or playlist presented down below for you to carry on and have fun. Uh, appreciate you supporting the channel. See you in that one.